defenders of Velayat Sky 1400 military drills kicked off on Tuesday, October 12, 2021, deploying indigenous missile, radar, surveillance, electronic warfare, communication systems, and optical surveillance network in the central desert areas of Iran. Announcing the start of the exercise, Brigadier General Kader Rahimzadeh, commander of Iran's Qadim al-Anbiya Air Defense Base, said, in the first phase of the joint specialized air defense exercise, the deployment of defense systems with the approach of movement and rapid reaction of operational forces in accordance with the principles of passive defense to deceive the enemy was carried out. Brigadier General Kader Rahimzadeh added, at this stage of the exercise, reconnaissance flights and identification of manned and unmanned aircraft of the Army and the IRGC was conducted. He added, protection of the air borders of the Islamic Republic of Iran and also comprehensive defense of the country's sensitive and vital centers are among the aims of the drills. Brigadier General Kader Rahimzadeh, commander of the Qadim al Anbiya Joint Air Defense Base regarding the purpose of holding this joint exercise, stated, improving the combat readiness of units, creating deterrence, evaluating indigenous air defense systems to deal with various threats in electronic and cyber warfare, improving the level of knowledge and skills of operational and technical personnel are planned in this exercise. Holding specialized exercises for the armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran has several important features. The first feature is the indigenous nature of all combat and defense equipment and systems, which indicates that the armed forces rely on internal capabilities. The Islamic Republic of Iran has pursued two goals simultaneously in this regard. The first goal is to indigenize the defense industry in the required sectors, especially in missile defense capability, which is of strategic importance regarding defense deterrence. The second goal is training specialized forces and using advanced training mechanisms and regular holding of specialized exercises to accelerate the move in this direction. The tactics used in this exercise will be designed and implemented following the structures and today's threats. Another feature of holding these exercises is increasing Iran's military power commensurate with conventional defense needs of all levels of defense and deterrence. Iran is now a strategic force in aerospace, missile power, naval power, and ground power. The Islamic Republic of Iran does not seek to threaten other states, but aims to maintain the country's security and prevent threats. Explaining the main components of the Iranian nation's authority, Ayatollah Khomeini, the leader of the revolution and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, stressed that the goal of the Islamic Republic's deterrent power policy is to prevent international powers from imagining an invasion of Iran. In his remarks, the leader recalled examples of Iran's defense power today, such as the downing of an American drone in Iran's skies, or a missile attack on the Ain al-Assad base, and noted, in the face of these realities, the enemy must consider Iran's power and defense capabilities in its calculations and decisions. Third feature. The use of new technologies in the implementation of military exercises in Iran. The practice also uses advanced electronic equipment, smart ammunition, cruise missiles, and advanced manned and unmanned stealth drones. University professor and analyst on military affairs, Pathula Kalantari, considered deterrence to have three pillars and believed that deterrence's first pillar is power building. The second pillar is the increase of power, and the third pillar is the demonstration of power.
The Islamic Republic of Iran has made significant achievements in increasing the efficiency of deterrence, such as indigenization of ballistic missiles with different applications, while Iran is among the top five UAV manufacturers in the world and the second country in producing stealth drones indicating Iran's progress in this field. Given the critical situation in West Asia, having defense readiness and offensive power to repel threats against Iran is also important. In response to this strategic need, strategic goals have been formed in Iran's military doctrine that has enhanced the country's defense capabilities. This capacity means having effective military, defensive, and offensive deterrence power to deter the enemy from military aggression. The importance of joint specialized air defense drills of the defenders of Belayat Sky also emphasizes pursuing the same goals.